Actually, when I was born talaga, I was dedicated na in a Christian church. And my mom was really um, active sa church. So, I grew up na as a, uh, a born-again Christian. And I think, na developed din siya um, during my high school days. I, I would go, I would go through yung mga youth, um, youth camps. And then we have this um, youth um, service. So, from there, and then, parang, kasi, tayo na tayo again, you know? Parang, ako kasi, I really asked for a specific thing. And alam mo talaga na pag binigay, alam mong galing sa kanya, kasi hiningi mo yun na ganoon. So, alam ko talagang, he's so great. And uh, dami ng times so na talagang hindi mo na siya pwedeng i-deny. Kasi he's really there. So, a lot of people will say, ay, wala. Pero ako kasi, I pray for something na talagang yung imposible. <laughs> Tapos, minibigay niya. So, ano mo yun, parang ako, yung belief ko talaga, it goes stronger and stronger every day as, as you learn more about Him. That's nice. I'll ask bold prayers. I'm gonna ask that. Oh, we have a question. Ako naman, I'm super believe so yun, na you're so obedient to your mom. Because this woman had no plans of joining any beauty contest, diba? Your, your, your career is in architecture. You want to be a project manager. But, uh, Bakit mo, I mean, you're 25 years old, kumbaga you have your own mind na, pero why did you still listen to your mom na who wanted you to join the beauty contest? And do you see now the benefit of it? Actually, <laughs> maraming, ano yun eh, maraming um, discussions. Ah. And, um, pero usually kasi, I always know that my mom has um, raised me well. And karagyan naman ang mas nasabi sa akin, after a while, I realized that it was for me. And during that time, I had I was hesitant nga to join a beauty pageant. Sabi ko, Christian, uh, Christian ako, tapos mag beauty pageant ako. Parang gano'n, sabi ko, so mag-swimsuit ako. Gusto ba ni God yun? Sabi ko sa kanya. <laughs> and she said na, maybe it's time for you to change how people see beauty pageants. And maybe it's this, this is the right time to do that. So yun yung sabi niya. And sabi niya, you don't have to change. You don't have to please everyone. You have to you only have to please him, and if it makes you um, a loser on that um, competition because you follow him, then so be it. Pero kung nanalo ka, ibig sabihin, di ba, you're making a change in that uh, specific uh, competition. Kaya sabi ko, okay, basta I wouldn't do this. I had, I had mga ano, sabi ko, hindi ko ito gagawin, hindi ko ito gagawin, ganyan. And then, yun, in the end, you know, parang... Sabi ko nga, siya talaga yung nagpanalo sa akin kasi wala akong alam eh, hindi wala akong anything. And I always say na it's not because of myself, everything, lahat ng achievements ko, it's because of him and not because of my own uh, doing. Oh, what? Then we'd like to mommy. Okay. <laughs> um, you're being uh, a pop natcher, a board pop natcher, and uh, a magna kong love. Do you also attribute that to, to God? Do you see those things as miracles as well? Yes, did you know that one week before the results, I was depressed. <laughs> I thought I was going to fail. And um, sabi ko nga, lagi lang akong, ito yung siya sabi, I just do my best and I leave it all to him. And if, it, he gives to, if he gives it to me, then I'll be thankful. And if not, maybe there's a reason. If we were back on the night of Miss Universe and I asked you, to share one verse, what verse would that be and why? Ah, pero hindi ko alam ko ano yung, ayan no? Actually, sinabi, no, sinabi sa akin during the Binibining Pilipinas, like, charm is deceptive and, what is that? Beauty is feeling, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. So, sabi sa akin, basta stick ka lang to that. And, you know, physical beauty, mga wala din yan, hindi, hindi naman yan yung importante. It's more of, Kung, kung kayo nasa loob ng heart mo. So, laging ganun lang ako. Kaya, I'm not really, when they ask me, what do you do? Are you vain? Hindi talaga. Kasi, sa akin, hindi naman ito importante. Kasi, ang importante, titignan naman ni God, is kung ano yung laman ng puso natin. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned a while ago that you have other passion. I mean, it's not your plan to be in the beauty pageant. So what is your passion before joining this again? Ah, I had a lot of things. Uh, I wanna, I wanted to study again to do my masters, <coughs> and uh, 
I wanted to teach, I wanna do research, I wanna um, write a book, like that. Parang academe, academe yung gusto kong um, i-focus. Kasi ako, I love school. Kung baga, kung pwede nga lang ako mag-aral habang buhay, mag-aral ako, ganun, ganun ko siya kamahal. And I saw how it changed my mom's life and a lot of people's lives. Kaya nga gusto ko sana mabigyan nga ng education yung mga gustong mag-aral. Kasi iba yung, kasi when you're ignorant, parang you're, you don't know what, what are other possibilities. Parang you're just locked in a box. But if you learn, and dami mo may kitang ah, marami ka pa lang pwedeng gawin sa buhay mo. So, now it's clear that uh, their plan did work, it's God's plan. Yes, parang sabi ko nga, paano ko napunta dito? Are you still gonna push to with the architecture? Like... Um, right now, I'm just, um, sabi nga, I was placed here nga for a purpose and kung saan niya ko dadalhin, hinihintay ko pa, pero alam kong Hindi na may kapababayaan. And he knows naman na if maybe in the future, hindi na talaga showbiz ang life ko. Hindi talaga ako para doon. Maybe I was just here, you know, to, to give his message and then after a while, maybe he would place me somewhere else. So, I'm excited nga eh. Kasi parang kung saan saan yung tayo dinadala. <laughs> okay, so thank you very much, Shamsi, for offering us with your and your brains, your inspiration to all women, and I know that we're going to be seeing you, a lot more of you, in the Philippines and all over the world. Shamsi Subso. Okay, so now we're going to have a word from uh, our very uh, favorite